Hello my crafty friends, this is Mary. Welcome back to Cards TV. I got lots of goodies and a card to show you today. So we're going to get right to it. My very good friend, Judy Ashmore, who is a close to my heart consultant, has been so kind to send me the art philosophy bundle. She knew that I had recently gotten the artiste bundle and didn't have this one. And she thought I might like to try it out. And oh my goodness, I'm in love with this. Let me show you what's in this bundle. And thank you so much, Judy, for sending this. I just love it. It comes with chipboard pieces, the art philosophy cartridge, and three sets of stamps. Now, Judy also sent me some beautiful close-to-my-heart papers. These are double-sided, and I just love these two together. This one is called Roxy. I love this. It's a beautiful plaid. We're going to use that. And we're going to use the flip side of it because they're all double-sided. This is really pretty with uh, beautiful flowers and kind of a linen look to it. And this gorgeous paper is called Sonoma. We're going to use this on our card as well. And our card base is kind of a chocolate brown. It's four and a quarter by five and a half. And it's a portrait style card. And I've already cut my mats out for the back. And I'll show you that. We'll go ahead and start putting this but together. our first mat is the reverse side of the Roxy paper. And I cut this at four and an eighth by five and three eighths. Then on top of that, I'm going to put a piece of the Sonoma, and this is cut at four by five and a quarter. And then just for fun, because I love this paper so much, I cut a mat out of the Roxy paper, and this is three and three quarters by five. And I wanted that uh, flip side to show, so I just folded that corner down. I went in about maybe three quarters of an inch folded that down and just use my bone folder to get a good crease. And I'm going to get my ATG gun, go ahead and get these layers put down, and then I'll show you what we cut from the Art Philosophy cartridge. Now we've got these two layers down. We're going to go ahead and put this layer on using the ATG gun. I love this paper. It is so pretty. And that Roxy, that plaid, reminds me of fall. Reminds me of a warm flannel shirt. Makes me think of hot chocolate and crunching through the leaves. Now I'm not going to stick that down because I'm going to add a button right there with a glue dot. And we'll get this on the front. Line it up evenly with our top, bottom, and sides. And here's my little button. It's got some floss run through there and it's already on a glue dot and I'm going to go ahead and put that right there and stick that down. Now, from the Art Philosophy cartridge on page 68, I love this banner right here and I cut this banner at 5 inches and I used the flip side of the plaid and we're going to add that right there to the front of our card. Just love that. We'll just use the ATG gun for this. I've got the banner on and I left the bottom loose just a little and I like to curl it up just a little bit. Just gives it a little bit more dimension. Now, I told you we were going to use this leaf stamp. Can you see that right there? And it says to cut the leaves at two inches. So you'll find that leaf in the Art Philosophy cartridge and that's on page 34. And I cut this leaf right here out of some ivory cardstock at two inches. And then I took my little stamp right here. And I used some uh, kind of a rust color. or It's kind of red, but it wasn't a bright red. I don't know the name of it. It's um, Studio G Ink. And I stamped two leaves. I cut two of them. Aren't they pretty? I love that. Then I went around them with some Tim Holtz tea dye Distress ink and I took some jute and just tied a little bow and put at the base of each stem for the leaf. I've got these on two thicknesses of foam tape 
and I'm going to put one there and one right down here. I just love that. And for my sentiment, I cut one of the little shapes out of the Art Philosophy cartridge and this one is on page 56. Let me flip over to that. I used ivory cardstock for that one. And I used one of my very own stamp sets. Here we go. I cut this one right here. You would hit shift and decorative layer. This is page 56. And I cut that out of ivory cardstock at three quarters of an inch. And it cuts a little hole at each end. And I had gotten some new doodle, yeah, doodle bug uh, brass colored brads. And I just put those through the hole. I inked around it with Tim Holtz tea dye distress ink and I used where is that here we go one of my stamp sets this is encouraging thoughts and like I said that paper made me think of leaves and hot chocolate and fall some of my favorite things and I was counting my blessings so I thought count your blessings would be a good one this one would be great I think for a Thanksgiving card so we're going to add this. We're going to put this on two thicknesses of foam tape and add that right there. And we'll have a beautiful finished card with close to my heart papers and using the art philosophy cartridge. Now I'm going to get all this stuck down. We'll come back take a look at the finished card. And I'm going to tell you about the great giveaway that Judy Ashmore is having. So... Let me go ahead and get this done, and we'll be right I back. I just love the way this card turned out with the Close to My Heart papers and the banner and the leaf and the leaf stamp that all came with the Art Philosophy Bundle. Thank you so much to Judy Ashmore for sending this to me. Judy's a friend of mine who lives in Tennessee in a tiny little town. There's... Not quite 400 people in this little town, and she is the Close to My Heart consultant there. And in order to uh, get more people to know about her business, she is doing a Cricut Mini giveaway. If you place your order with Judy for either the Art Philosophy Bundle, the Artiste Bundle, or place an order for $99 through her site, your name will be entered to win that Cricut Mini. So for all the details, guys, look at the end of the video, and it's also at the bottom of the screen, and go over and check this out with Judy. You'll find all the details there. I'll give you the link to her blog as well. She's got some really cute things on her blog. Thank you again, Judy, and thanks to all of you for coming by today. I'll see you again really soon. Bye now.